Today's unboxing kind of reminds me of Silver Surfer if he actually wore a shoe in the movie. Take a guess. What's up and welcome back to my channel, Shea TV. My name is Marissa Hill. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as give this unboxing a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it. And don't forget, if you have any questions about the unboxing today, feel free to hit me in the comment box and let me know what's going on. And as well as we've got an amazing last episode in our series of three for the Dior Jordans this Friday. So do not forget to hit those notifications so that we can alert you as soon as we have a new and upcoming video. All right, so let's go through our chapters for today. So if you guessed it, correct, that's right. These are the Air Jordan 1 High OG Retro Metallic Silvers. So as I was thinking of superheroes, I thought to myself, the Silver Surfer should have these shoes at some point in his life while he's fighting crime. But uh, anyways, we are going to start with our first chapter entering the unboxing portion. Then I'm gonna bring it back with a little bit of shade, guys, today. I think um, I wanna throw some shade on the sneakers app. I feel like it's about time. And then we're gonna move in to our sizing portion of the video. So you guys know I got these in the youth sizing. So definitely wanna stick around for that so you can tell the difference from youth sizing versus men and women sizing. Then I'm going to get into our favorite, which is the styling section. Definitely had a great time styling these shoes. Oh my gosh, there's nothing better than finding some great silver metallic graffiti. So you guys can actually see how this metallic really pops off of other metallic colorways in the backdrop. Then we're gonna conclude with the resale price point on how well these shoes are doing. All right, so let's hop into this unboxing portion. I actually was really lucky with this, these shoes. So first off, I just wanna say, even if you do not win on the sneakers app, app, do not give up. You should always have a plan A, B, and C, as I always say, and I was so fortunate enough to actually find a foot store that I just walked into, and they just so happened to have my size. I mean, it's never a bad thing to just ask sales associates if you're just in an area at a store that you think may be selling a shoe that maybe you potentially didn't win online always ask because you never know if they have the shoe you're looking for and to my surprise i was able to pick up the metallic silvers and now i get to do this great unboxing for you guys i'm so stoked to do this because these shoes really popped online and I'm just so excited to share how they look with you in person. All right, these guys out of the box. So once again, these are in youth sizing. So I got a youth size seven. Also, for any of you that are able to fit in youth sizes, I highly recommend it because you're gonna save a lot of money. So definitely saved some money on these shoes. Very happy, my, my bank is at least happy. I was able to save a little bit on these, but wow, these are definitely subtle, but like they've got this beautiful metallic shine going on to them. So for those of you who didn't know, this was actually a Japan exclusive at the start. And I was so bummed because I saw that these shoes came packaged and a briefcase, a silver briefcase. Oh my God, it's so dope. Uh, but unfortunately, don't live in Japan, didn't have a Japan address to even have them shipped to. So I had to just get the basic bare bones box. But for any of you that were able to cop that suitcase, hit me with a picture because I actually wish I was able to see what that suitcase looks like in person because online it looked fire. So, sorry, I don't have a suitcase to show you guys or a briefcase to show you guys. <laughs> Just a simple plain box, but 
that's all right because we have this amazing silhouette in front of us. As I've said before, with the Air Jordan 1 highs that I have, the leather really varies. And I would say in the toe box area, this leather is definitely not as broken in as some of my other Air Jordan 1s, like my royal toes here. Like This is really just broken in leather. It's just much more stiff on the toe box than it is on my royal toes. And for me personally, I prefer my leather more broken in. It's just more comfortable on the foot, especially when it starts to crease. I really feel that in the toe area. So I would say as far as like the leather texture goes, this is definitely going to be stiffer in the toe box in this area. So we've got some nice perforated holes going on the toe here, some nice breathability there, as well as that Nubuck suede. Whew, this is some beautiful, just light gray Nubuck suede, but my goodness, I swear I stepped outside and just anything and everything was attaching to this. So this is definitely a shoe that, you know, it's going to get dirty. It's inevitable. I mean, it's just such a light color. And the Nubuck just, I don't know what it is about it, but it really attracts dust and small little particles onto it. So definitely we'll need to try and really pay attention to where I'm stepping in these so that it doesn't look all dark and smoky at the end of the day, but uh, definitely some very soft Nubuck, which is on the medial and lateral side of the shoe. And what I love about the tongue is it's really got this tumbled, broken in leather here, which is quite nice. Then, uh, as you see here, we've got the Nike Air and Swoosh logo here. If you do remember, this was actually launched in 2001, which actually, interesting enough, I'm looking on the inside of the tongue, it says 2001 and 2020. So it has the year that this uh, colorway was launched and it was an exclusive in Japan. And the only difference was that it had the Jumpman logo on it as opposed to the Nike Air logo. But it looks like they put the Jumpman logo anyways on the inside of that tongue. So kind of a nice little memory that they've added in addition to this tongue area. So we've definitely on this collar of the shoe have some nice metallic squares that are really popping. It's really reflecting with my lights. I can kind of like see it. It's like really shining bright in my eyes. And that same pattern is on the inside of this tongue here. The laces are much different from the laces that I've received on all of my Air Jordan 1 High silhouettes. This is just kind of a thicker but thinner shoelace. So I did have a little more difficulty just getting these laces to really just kind of sit straight and aligned because they really want to turn on you because of how thin and thick they are. Uh, but definitely a higher quality lace that I've seen on this specific shoe. And the thing I liked about it as well is that the laces are perfect length. So usually I have a lot of excess laces after I'm done tying my shoes. And this is literally the perfect length to the point where I actually don't need to tie a bow or hide any laces on it. It just kind of sits perfectly behind the tongue. And then let's just get into some of the color blocking on this shoe. So we've definitely just got nice metallic overlays on top of this, you know, just simply neutral gray Nubuck. And of course we've got this just simple white midsole. And at the bottom we have just a nice rubber gray outsole. The Nike on the bottom there. This is a great shoe. I just feel like it's definitely gonna go with a lot of different items. You guys are gonna see in my styling section how I style these and how great they just go with any type of wardrobe, I feel like, because of the colors that they put together on this shoe. Uh, then we've got, of course, our wings. Air Jordan on the side there. Yeah, oh, I can already smell the chemicals coming off of it. I like, really didn't even need to take a whiff. This is like a brand spanking new shoe. Definitely, you know, have some areas where it's like there's longer strings that need to be kind of trimmed up a little bit. 
uh, some areas that, you know, have just a little need of patching up. It looks like the sewing, actually, the stitching on here is coming off a little bit. I've noticed that with some of the silhouettes I get from Nike, the stitching looks a bit rushed at times. Yeah, like you can even see in here, this part wasn't sewed fully down. A little bit of rush work there, that's kind of annoying. And then let's get into this insole. We've got the Jumpman logo and co.jp on the inside there. So once again, you guys, this is the youth shoe. So sometimes there are some slight differences between the youth shoes as well as the adult shoes. So I'm not quite sure since I do not have the adult version in front of me, but I'm pretty sure this is pretty similar to what you would see in the adult sizing as well. But uh, sometimes they do have just a very subtle slight difference uh, in the silhouette. All right, now let's get into some shade, you guys. My goodness. I have been so unlucky with the sneakers app lately. I don't know how you guys are doing. What was the last shoe you won? I honestly think the last shoe that I won on the sneakers app was my LeBron shoe and uh, it's been a hot minute. I feel like um, not a lot of people that I know either are being or having much luck on on the app. So definitely let me know your thoughts. What's going on with them? Is anybody winning on the sneakers app these days? <laughs> anyone out there? Anyone? Anyone? Hit me in the comments if you are winning on sneakers and you're just on fire because on I am fire. definitely in a dead spree. Oh, I need to pick me up sneakers. Give me a win in the next week or two. I need it. I really, really, I just need some love from you guys. <laughs> All right, now let's hop into some sizing for this shoe. So I've talked about this before and I do think it's important to know, do you have high arches? Do you have flat feet? Do you have wider feet? Do you have thinner feet? Because that's really going to depend on how a shoe is really going to fit you. And I actually, you know, was talking to my podiatrist the other day. She told me an interesting fact. The best time to actually try on a shoe is later at night when your feet have been more rested because, you know, if you've been walking around constantly or it's just say maybe a potentially warm day outside, your feet are gonna be so swollen. And if your feet are extremely swollen and you're trying to try on shoes, it's definitely not gonna be your actual shoe size. So you definitely wanna wait for that swelling to go down, your feet to really be in the right place of where that sizing may be. And so it's better to try shoes on apparently at nighttime. Thanks, Dr. Brenner. Really appreciate that side note information. Uh, so for me, I am able, because of my high arches, uh, to fit into, you know, some different sizings. I can kind of, you know, float between an 8.5 and a 9. And for the kit sizing, I actually got a 7 youth, which is a 40 in European sizing. So typically I'm a 40.5 or as and most of you know, my videos is 7.5 or size 9 slash 8.5 in women sizing. And so I was very happy that it, the 7 was available in the youth sizing, so I was able to cop it. And again, if you're able, ladies, or even men, to fit into the youth sizes, I highly, highly, highly recommend going for a youth size because when we get into that resale portion, I'll talk about the retail value of the youth versus the adults, and you'll see that you're definitely going to benefit by buying a youth size. All right, so now we're gonna move into styling. I'm gonna head over to my rack and we're gonna go through all of the different options that I selected to go with this silhouette. Let's get to it. All right, so I'm gonna start with my top that I'm wearing now because this is part of the first look. This is just a simple kind of seafoam green tank top that I paired with this Alexander Wayne asymmetrical skirt i just think that light denim so even for you guys out there i know you're probably not going to be wearing this asymmetrical skirt but maybe some denim jeans or some denim shorts i think that the denim just really pops with this metallic color i'm just gonna like hold it next to it because you guys are gonna 
be able to see it in here, but also on me outside. There's just something so clean and so fresh about this colorway, and I really just think that it really went well with the light denim skirt. Again, I don't think it would look bad with some denim shorts either, like the ones I'm wearing here, but also I wanted to add a little bit of color to my wardrobe, so that's why I went with this kind of seafoam green top, which I got from H&M, and you know, I just think that the subdued colors of the shoe really popped with the color in my top. All right, so let's move on to the second look. Oh, it was a little toasty, guys, let me tell you. I was not so excited to wear this look, but I wanted to give you a sweats option in a different color, of course. As you guys know, I love my black. I only work in black and sometimes very, very dark gray. Uh, but this is my Fear of God sweatpants um, that I paired with the shoes because I just think that black, obviously, goes with anything and these metallic shoes are just they're not hard difficult color way to really mix and match with anything in your wardrobe so though i was dying in the 90 degree weather which i'm not complaining because when winter comes i'm probably going to be complaining about how cold it is but uh it was pretty toasty in that and i just you know wanted to kind of give it some matchy matchy with this simple just gray cropped tank top and the two just really worked well, especially if you're going for more of an athletic type athleisure look. This is just a great option for this. All right, so for the last option, another athletic look. This is obviously a basketball shoe. As you guys may know, Jordan, this was his first pair of Jordans that he wore. But also, if you've seen The Last Dance, he talks about how he brought these shoes back out years later. Uh, and played in them in his last game in New York and his feet bled actually after it because I can't even honestly imagine wearing these in a hardcore basketball game I think my feet might bleed too but um, anyways wore them with some simple just kind of metallic-y silver basketball shorts with just a simple white tank top I wanted you guys to be able to see just a metallic-y colorway next to the actual metallic-y colorway of the shoes so you can kind of see the different silvers that come off of it. And of course, again, I wanted to choose another athletic shoe, at, or athletic shoe, excuse me, athletic look with an athletic shoe so that you guys just get an idea of, you know, what it looks like to pair it with a short option in that athletic region. So let me know at the end what you guys thought as your favorite outfit and of course guys i did give you a skirt option but again this could be a great option for jean Den light denim denim pants light denim shorts you name it it will work with these shoes all right now let's get to our concluding section which is the resale section right this just like fell out of the bottom of the shoe so i guess uh you get a nice metallic gold jump man in the box as well so nice little extra gift there now let's get into the resale portion i just want to talk about the retail to start so these cost me 130 dollars, but the adult sizes run about 170 so you're definitely saving forty dollars i mean hey forty dollars is forty dollars that really adds up so if you can fit in new sizes think about all the forty dollars that you save each time on a shoe you're going to be able to buy way more shoes with the amount of money that you save on this specific silhouette uh, so as far as the resale goes, these shoes are actually doing quite well. So I don't know how many of you out there tried to play for these shoes, but they were very, very difficult to get. I took hard L's on foot sites, on sneakers. I mean, I really have no idea of anyone that I know in the shoe game that actually was able to cop a pair of these. It was way more difficult than I think a lot of people thought. Uh, which always I like to say definitely you see that in the resale portion when they are more limited and Actually the Tokyo pair that was extremely exclusive. They actually listed on the inside of the shoe the number uh, Out of all the shoes made you can see your number of shoe which which one out of the amount that they made in that actual silhouette so that's pretty cool. I Unfortunately, just have the kitty one, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, there's not. I didn't get a number. 
All right, so as far as the resale goes, size six in adults is going for $550, which that's pretty good money to make off of a pair of shoes that went for $170. All other sizes are ranging from around 300 to 350 on the higher end, and that's for the adult range. Now let's get into the kids. So the youth goes from 3.5 to seven. Again, this is a size seven. So a size seven right now is actually going for 2X at $260. So if I were to resell these right now, I would make all of my money back and more, which is great. Um, as far as other sizes, it's going around 240 to 260. So almost every single size in the youth is actually going for double the retail value, which is great. Uh, yeah, so that is it, you guys. My goodness, this like kind of flew by in my mind, this whole filming of this shoe. I just really, really actually love this shoe in person. I mean, it's just kind of growing on me the more it's in the lights and the more the metallics are showing. But anyways, uh, again, we have our last and final episode of the Dior Jordan series this Friday. So don't forget to hit that notification so that you're reminded of when that will be premiering as well as if you're new to my channel and this is your first unboxing, feel free to hit that subscribe button as we do want you to follow the channel. It is so much appreciated as well as don't forget to leave me comments if you have any questions on this unboxing today. And oh my goodness, I almost forgot to mention, I need to give a shout out to my 4,000 subscriber. We are already on our way to 5K guys. It is insane how fast this channel is growing and I couldn't have done it without my Shea TV community. You guys are absolutely amazing. So I just wanna show a quick clip of my 4,000 subscriber, sent her over some goodies and you know, it's just, so nice to have a good mixture of females and males who are participating in the community and really giving me great shout outs and you know just hitting that notification bell as well as hitting that subscribe button you guys are really just pumping this channel up and i can't wait to see where it's going to be at at the end of the year hey guys shout out to shade tv and i just want to say thank you to marissa for being a beacon of hope for young lady in streetwear showing us how to do it with awesome fits every episode check out each banger on her channel all right thanks so much alana bennett we appreciate you so much you're the real mvp of the month you are once again our 4,000 subscriber and i appreciate and value each and every one of you that subscribes so again don't forget to hit that subscribe button at the end of this video Give this video a thumbs up at the end if you enjoyed it, as well as hit those notifications and leave us a comment at the end. Until next time, everyone, my name is Marissa Hill. This is Shade TV. We will catch you on the Dior Jordan premiere.